All right, guys. Here's another update on the 96 Geo Prism. Um, obviously, I've it on ramps right now. I'm changing the transmission fluid, but that's the old transmission that was in it with the bad differential. I've been driving it about a week. It it shifts okay. They're not as buttery smooth as the other one was. Like that one would pretty much just kind of go into gear without jerking or anything. This other one, it almost feels like a shift kit, really. I don't know, but. The fluid wasn't burnt or anything on it, but, you know, I don't know how many miles is on the fluid itself. The transmission itself has, like, 20,000 more on it than the rest of the drivetrain, which isn't too bad. So, ugh. So right now I have the pan off. Um, I took the old filter off. The new filter's on it right now. So pretty much for anyone that is looking to change their transmission fluid and filter on a three-speed automatic Geo Prism or Toyota Corolla from 1993 to 1997. Uh, all the bolts around the pan, they're all just 10 millimeter and it's three 10 millimeter bolts to take off the uh, filter in the transmission pan. Like I got a kit from Rock Auto, came with the filter oh, and the new gasket for the pan which is not not bad deal. It was like 10 bucks or something. But yeah. As for the pan, when you drop the pan, obviously you take off the old rubber gasket or cork, even if it's cork, if that's horrible. But right here and here, these are both magnets that they're designed to catch like any metal shavings or anything from your transmission. In mine, I don't feel any shavings, it just kind of looks like a gray sludgy looking crap. Which really isn't bad. You don't want to see like metal shavings in your transmission. That's, I feel, I don't even feel like any grit to it, so I don't think mine's doing too bad. So basically when you drop it, drain all the fluid, change the filter, take the magnets out, wipe them off, put them back in the pan pretty much where they were, put the new gasket on, and you're pretty much golden. Uh, for capacities, I, right, I was talking about capacities for this, but I ran out of memory on my phone. Um, I think it's 2.7 quarts. Don't quote me on that. I gotta check my manual. It usually says in the back, you know, capacities and stuff. If not, just check Google. But uh, that's, I think, if you're not completely flushing it, like the torque converter fluid and all that. I'm not doing that, I'm just uh, doing what's in the pan and the transmission. But, yeah, other than that, I mean, the motor's been golden on this thing, so. I guess that was just a quick update on the prison. I'll probably make another video after I uh, finish this up and see how good it shifts. But, yeah, till then.